well, I was born like this. I don't know how I feel. I feel you. And I wish that there was an option of other in the kingdom. I, did that. I don't freaking know. I know, honestly, I wish God would have made it so much simpler and it was like A, B, C, or D, like frick. This video is brought to you by Birch Gold, brought to you by Birch Gold. Ladies and gentlemen, inflation has consequences as the Fed raised interest rates to combat out of control government spending. Long term bonds have diminished in value, crippling banks. Depositors are holding their breath and investors are bailing on bank stocks. Diversification has never been more important. The recent surge of gold prices is directly tied uh, to the extreme market volatility right now. This is why gold has historically been a great hedge against the stock market and against inflation. The only company I trust to do this for you and me is Birch Gold. Text Brandon to 989898 to get an information kit on gold. Birch Gold will help you convert an existing IRA or 401k that is tied to a volatile market into an IRA in physical precious metals, gold, and silver. And the best part is tax shelter. Text Brandon to 989898 to claim your free info kit on gold today. With an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied customers, I trust Birch Gold to help you and me. Text Brandon to 989898 today. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment with a shut this video. Let's get into this. Most people are fake Christians. I, I, want, I want us all to be very clear about this. Most people are fake Christians. They are faux Christian. The reason I say that is because the tribalism that I see in Christianity. Last time I checked, there is but one God, the Father above all, in all, and through all, and one Christ, Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And there's only one truth. There's only one gospel. There's only one Jesus. There was only one church. When Jesus gave the keys to Peter, Peter and Paul and them didn't start denominations. Peter didn't have apostolic and Paul had church of God in Christ. And, and, and John the Baptist was preaching assemblies of God. It was one truth. One truth. I, and, and I don't know how all of a sudden we didn't got tricked up in all kind of stuff. And if these pastors were real Christians, the black man and the white man and the church will come together and say, let's stop the drama. Let's stop this racial tension in our country and let's unite and have a revival. Let the black churches in Atlanta partner with the white churches in Atlanta and have a revival. Let the black pastor get up in the pulpit and say, I, for, I have forgiven the men who perpetuated slavery in this country because God has called me to forgive. And just like I want my sins to be forgotten, I have, I have, I have dissolved my hatred and feeling towards something that happened in the past before I was even alive. If the black pastor get up there and, and make it about Christ, this country would be a different place. And I, I believe that the white pastor would do the same. But I, I see, and this is my opinion based on my experiences, I, and I haven't been to every white church, but the churches I've been to have been preaching truth. And the black churches that I go to, some of them have been preaching blackness. And, and, and I just, I, I, I find it a struggle to respect pastors and preachers that do not uphold the true gospel of Jesus Christ. It's really not that hard. Abortion is wrong. We don't need to question God on that premise. That's a complete decision that you have to make, and it's a hard decision. You have to really go through it and put yourself through murdering your kid in order for that to be accomplished. That's a difficult decision. 
And that's a decision that don't need to be had. Now, some people have been misled. Some people are misinformed. Some people are miseducated. I get it. If you made the, you made the mistake, don't do it twice. Pray about it. Ask God to forgive you. Don't make the same mistake twice. This whole thing about uh, homosexuality, pastor, I forget his name, and I, he's, a, he's a scammy pastor in my opinion, but I, I can't put my finger on it because he's, he's incredibly charismatic. He has a church out in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yep, Pastor Michael Todd. Transformation Church. Transformation Church. The, the, the guy is incredibly charismatic. The guy is inc a, a, an incredible speaker. But see, people get in Christ and they get stupid. I, I, I just see it happening all the time. They get incredibly famous and then they start wearing Gucci on the stage. They start wearing Balenciaga shoes. He, he literally did a skit where he was in a puddle of water and he had a boat and everything on the stage. I guess he was simulating walking on water in Balenciagas. Balenciagas are like $1,000 shoes. Like, see, this is, what, this is where I had a problem with some of these people because when he started doing that, I say, man, that man ain't, ain't got no connection with God. I mean, he's losing his connection. I think at some point he must have had a connection. I feel like he's losing his connection. Now he's getting his hair all done and, and looking all Hey, if you enjoyed Metro, this video, I put out and three then he get videos a day. So make sure said, you go to the uh, said, playlist that says new video and watch more God videos. Subscribe to this like channel. A, B, and C, or Let's go, D. baby. God decided male and female. I, no, 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 I'm not, this is not a bad, I need y'all to hear my heart on this. This is not a bashing, this is not a, he, if I was there, maybe I would have told him, is there something in the middle you could do? Like kind of a, like a little maybe if somebody, well, I was born like this, I don't know how I feel. That I, I feel you. And I wish that there was an option of other in the kingdom. I, did that. I don't freaking know. I know, honestly, I wish God would have made it so much simpler and it was like A, B, C, or D, like frick. No, I'm serious. As a pastor, like, so what do you think about gay men? I don't know. Then he said, they say, Pastor, what you think about homosexuality? Freak, I don't know. That's what he, this is a pastor of one of the biggest churches in America. And then the online presence is out of control. He said, he don't know. Hey, brother. I wish Pastor Todd was listening right now. You don't need to know. All you need to do is say what he said in the Bible. Jesus ain't never walk around and say, this is what I think. Jesus, what do you think about this subject? Well, I think this. I don't know. Jesus said, I'm only saying the words that the Father told me to say. I'm only going off the scripture that I have read as an as a Orthodox Jew. That's all I know. What, the, what does the Torah say? What does the prophet say? Not what I say, what I think. I find it incredibly interesting that a pastor of a mega church and God has blessed him so much to have influence when asked about homosexual lifestyles, he say he don't know. I, I tell people this. And, and it's not to be mean because I hold myself accountable to the same thing. When I get out of line and I start thinking about doing stuff I shouldn't do, saying stuff I shouldn't say, I have to revert back and say, it don't matter how I feel, what does the Bible say? That's only if I'm a Christian. If you ain't a Christian, don't worry about nothing I'm saying. Just, just tell your Christian friends to listen to what I'm saying. But if you say you're a Christian, you have to at least acknowledge right from wrong. At least. That's the minimal. At least acknowledge. You can't go on in life leading a church and saying, I wish God made it simpler. It's like, no, I wish God did what God was supposed to do. And he did it. And the thing is, I wish we could make it simpler. I wish we'll stop lying. We'll stop being deceptive. Why, why God got to be changing and all this stuff? Why can't we do better? It's funny to me, humans they get so much cloud and reputation and they blow up and they get big and they, and, and they just start losing track of God. Like, like T.D. Jakes, he's on TV and they ask him about the homosexual thing. He, he don't know. They asked him, was Jesus the only way? As a Christian, he said, 
I, 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 I think Jesus could, you can go to Jesus in, in a lot of ways. Even Joe Osteen, biggest church in America. He, well, I don't think that Jesus is the only way. I don't know. I just stick in my lane. Fool, your lane is to preach the gospel. What lane are you in? You say you don't know. You just think, I'm not here to put people in heaven and hell. Ain't nobody asking you to put nobody in heaven and hell. A ain't nobody asking you to have an independent thought. All you got to do is say what he said. Now, I, don't, I don't even get why it's that hard. People ask me, Brandon, what do you think about this subject? Well, I'm not going to tell you what I think. I'm going to tell you what he said. And so I think what he said. And if I think differently what he said and I'm wrong and you need to listen to what the Lord said. I don't know how for Christians is really that hard. I, mean, I understand why it's that hard. I know the world is nuanced. And I know that, you know, there's the devil out here and there's there's pride and there's all these things that occur. But I don't understand how somebody can go to seminary school, which I, I, I consider cemetery school. They go to cemetery school and come out and, and not be able to preach the gospel in its most authentic form. Like, I would never be a pastor at a church and be like, I don't know about this. Like, it's like, no, nah, man. Like, I don't have to talk about it every day, but sin is sin. The same young man that's sitting in the choir, I mean, that's sitting in the, in the pew, sleeping with women out of wedlock is the same as you uh, going to drag shows and doing all that stuff. It's like, let me just tell the truth across the board. And, and then you can sit there in the pew and let God deal with you. But man, if I'm holding back and I'm not saying that because I'm afraid to offend you, I, I, I might as well I might as well just be a motivational speaker. Because you dang sure ain't finna read the Bible. All right. Ran out of time. Hold the phone. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I put out three videos a day. So make sure you go to the uh, playlist that says new video and watch more videos. Subscribe to this channel. Let's go, baby.